What's up guys, Shane here from Fugitech 3D Printing and today is the final day for the 3D Printer Design Challenge. I'm gonna tell you guys what you need to do and how you're gonna be judged right here. Welcome back guys. So it has been quite the rocky summer, I must say, with the pandemic and everything going on and people having trouble ordering things. We did extend the challenge through September 1st, but now it is done. And I wish we could go longer, but I really don't want to drag this out anymore. I think that there are some great entries already that I've seen in Discord. I'm hoping other people will come forward who have not shared anything yet. If you've been watching my streams, you'll know this right here is Master Crane. That's what I called it. It is a cantilever design based kind of, I got ideas from the Ender 3, the Prusa Mini, the Ender 2, lots of ideas coming together in order for me to create this one printer that I'm actually really proud of. It doesn't print perfect, but again, what are we really expecting from $130 of BOM? This without auto bed leveling comes at a $124, $124. So below the 130, so I check that box. The next is build volume. You need it to be more than 100 millimeter cubed. Mine is 177 by 172 by 200 millimeters on the Z. So check that box as well. That was pretty much the two things and that it can print. So I chose to actually create mine. And I know there are some of you out there that didn't want to either spend the money or just couldn't Totally understandable. I'm really hoping to see some really cool designs in CAD on what you decided to create. I will be checking them along with someone else in my Discord just to make sure everything actually looks right that actually would function. And I plan on giving out two awards, one for the best actual physical printer that they created and how it works, and one for the best design. Now, when it comes to judging, how am I gonna be judging these? A lot of people have been asking that. I really haven't said much about it, but I'm gonna let you know today. Number one, I'm judging, does it actually print? Especially if you're creating the actual printer, does it print and how well does it print? Another one we look at is ingenuity. So what did you do outside of the box instead of just recreating something? Again, I took three different printers, mashed them together to make my own. Everything obviously for everyone is fully custom designed, but how did you create yours? What grand idea or how did you reuse something or what is the idea behind yours? The third is gonna be creativity. So yeah, it's kind of ties into two is like what you did, but this one is how creative were you with your design? I was extremely safe with this design. Like there are a few chamfers here and there to make it look a little more sleek, but aside from that, I stayed very safe. That was what was comfortable for me. I want to give you guys an idea like what's an absolute basic 3D printer to design on your own. And again, this is what I came up with. And number four is going to be, uh, did you meet the actual design challenge? So is your printer less than $130? And is the build volume greater than 100 millimeter cubed? I have seen some big ones on the discords. So I really hope that these actually are going to come to fruition, but we'll find out in the final submission. Now, what do I need from you to do your submissions? I'd like a short little YouTube video. We all have YouTube accounts. You don't have to make it public. You can make it unlisted if you don't want to share things. I know some people have started sharing their builds on YouTube, which is fantastic. It's a great way to get started. It's something that you created, but create a little short video, or honestly, it can be as long as you want, but I want you to tell me about your printer, uh, how you designed it, what are the specs of it, show me a print that came off of it, if it actually is printing, and kind of just, again, take your time, tell me what you want to tell me. I also would like to have a copy sent to me or share your uh, 3D design, whether you use Fusion or however else you use, I think most everyone uses Fusion, but send that to me uh, via Discord. You can send me the link as well. I'm on there at Fuginator. If you're on the Discord, you should know who I am. And send me the link for your video, the link for your Fusion file, so I can check that out. If you created just a CAD design, please do a quick little screen recording. Use OBS, figure out how to do that. I can show you guys how to do that, or just send me the files. But I really would like you to submit something where you can tell me about it because obviously I'm extremely passionate about what I designed here. I'm very, very proud of it. Again, it is very basic, but I am just so proud of what I was able to create. And you know, just I had this done in about a month and obviously waiting for things to come in took time and then a little bit of tuning here and there, but I am very happy with the prints that are coming off of this. I would like to get it that little extra mile don't know if I'll be able to get there, but there are a few things that I would like to. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little overview video of my printer. And I'm probably going to use my phone because again, I want, it doesn't have to be anything professional. It doesn't have to have lights and microphones and everything like that. I just want you to tell me about your printer and how it prints and things like that. So please take some time, do that. I'm going to give everybody about a week to submit these. So I'm 
Obviously, we're going a little further than the, the first, but hey, that's how it is. Uh, so I'd like everybody to submit to me via Discord by the 7th. Today's the 1st, so we'll go to the 7th of September. So please hit me up with those links. I cannot wait to see what you guys send in. I might end up doing a video at the end to kind of just show off your submissions. If you don't want it shown, please tell me, but I would like to showcase on my channel what you guys have created and just what you've all learned. From. That's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. I know I did. I learned a ton about Fusion, about how building my own printer. I really hope to do this again, maybe next year or something like that. Maybe we'll be able to get sponsors next year, but during the pandemic, just no one is really able to help out right now. And I hope to make this a much bigger event, maybe get some other content creators in on this as well. It was a lot of fun. I thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, happy printing.